Hey, what's up, people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today, I've partnered with Viomi to showcase the V3 Max Smart Robotic Vacuum Cleaner and Smart Mop. This very well might be the best budget or affordable smart vacuum that you can get because at the time of this video, you can pick this up on Amazon for less than 300 bucks. I'll drop a link in the description of this video as well as in the pinned comment so you can check it out for yourself. If you're not familiar with Viomi, they're actually under the uh, Xiaomi umbrella, which is really cool because Xiaomi makes awesome products and they have one of the best smart home apps in my personal opinion. Some of the standout features of the V3 Max include LiDAR or laser radar. It has a real-time sweeping map, 2700 PA suction power, a 5200 milliamp hour lithium battery, scheduled cleaning, a Japanese brushless motor, memory continuation sweeping, a side brush for speed regulating cleaning, and much, much more. Inside the box, you get some basic paperwork like your warranty information, as well as a setup guide. You get an extra side cleaning brush. You get the vacuum itself. You get the charging dock and a wall cable. You get a tool for maintenance. Then you get 10 sweeping pads that are disposable. You also get two washable or reusable mopping pads, as well as the mopping tank. In order to get set up, you're gonna place the dock on a flat surface. Make sure you leave enough clearance around the dock to avoid any obstructions whenever the vacuum docks and undocks itself. Then you're gonna plug in the cable to your wall and then plug the other end to the bottom of the dock. What I really like about this dock is there's like a little trap door that opens up and that's for cable management, so you can wrap up the excess cable and then shut that door. I haven't seen this on small docks before and I was really impressed with this. Make sure you remove all pieces of plastic film and inserts from the vacuum before placing it on the dock for charging. Once all that's done, go ahead and place it on the dock. Then download the Mi Home app. You could do this by going into your app store and doing a search for Mi Home, or the easiest way is just scan the QR code on the setup sheet. It's also located on the side of the box. Once you download the Mi Home app, just follow the prompts and instructions. It's going to have you hold down the power button and the home button on the vacuum itself to reset the Wi-Fi. And this is how you're gonna be able to connect your vacuum to your home Wi-Fi network. Once all of that is done, you can give your vacuum a unique name and then set up everything else within the app. And speaking of that app, let's go ahead and talk about some of the features that you can expect. So the Mi Home app is one of my favorite smart home or smart vacuum apps. There's a lot of features inside of it and I just love the layout. As soon as you open it up, you're greeted with your vacuums. So you can see I have my vacuums right here. We're gonna go into the V3 Max, which I named Wiggly Tough. At the top, we have the name of my vacuum. And then you have your battery status. So the battery is fully charged. And then below that, we have the floor map. It did a fantastic job at mapping out my home. Probably one of the best that I have ever seen, including vacuums that are double or triple the price of the V3 Max, it was able to identify the rooms almost perfectly, which is definitely saying something. At the bottom, we have our different modes. So if I tap on mode, we have vacuum, we have vacuum and mop, and then we have mop. Then we have our suction levels, which range from quiet all the way to strong. And then on the far right, we have our water volume levels. So this is gonna be for mopping. On the bottom left-hand corner, we have, again, the battery status, which is saying fully charged. I can start the vacuum at any point just by tapping start. And then on the right corner, we have map management. If I tap on that, we can do the area editor, which allows you to edit rooms. You can merge rooms, you can rename them, and then you can split up rooms. So if it didn't do a good job at mapping out your floor, you can go in and edit out the map. Going back, we have virtual wall and restricted areas. So you can assign virtual walls and restricted areas for the vacuum. So if you wanna keep it within a certain area, you could do that. You also have point vacuuming. So you can select this and then select the spot where you want the vacuum to go. And it will go to that location and then start vacuuming. Finally, going back into map management, we have area cleaning, which allows you to take a square or rectangle. You can resize it. You can place it over a portion on the map the vacuum will stay within that confined area and clean that portion or that area on your map. So our experience with the V3 Max has been really good. Granted, I've only ran it a few times. The first time that I ran it, it got stuck on my side table, but after that, it's been perfect. And I've ran it a few times since then. It's been a really good vacuum. Along the edges, it doesn't actually get super close, but that's because of the shape of the vacuum. It has nothing to do with the vacuum itself. The brush does reach out pretty far and it does a pretty good job at sweeping everything, but 
just in case you might want to just double check after it runs make sure it got everything and if it didn't just sweep out anything and then run it again no big deal whatsoever just something that i figured that i would throw out there in terms of its suction power, 2700 PA is plenty powerful for hard flooring like this tile or wood flooring. If you have carpet and it's thicker carpet, you might want to use the repeat vacuuming feature just to go over those areas that are a little bit tougher to clean. Obviously, I have a dog, so I have a lot of pet hair that gets on the floor, and this vacuum has done a really good job at picking up that pet hair, whether it's on the hard flooring or on the carpet. Another thing is the LiDAR sensor. The LiDAR sensor has worked really well at going in between my bar stools and going around my furniture. Whenever the V3 Max vacuums, it uses like an S pattern and it's very efficient and it really maximizes its cleaning capabilities because it overlaps a little bit on the previous line. So it almost gives you like a double clean, which is really nice. As long as you have the Mi Home app downloaded on your phone and the V3 Max is connected to the Mi Home app, it will automatically send you notifications to let you know what's going on with your vacuum. So whether or not it started a job, it's finished a job, or if it gets caught on something, you'll receive an immediate prompt to let you know what's going on. But instead of me just telling you about it, let me give you an example of how well the LiDAR sensor works as well as the suction capabilities. So I have the remote control pulled up here on the app, and this is a good way for me to show you how you can use it. So you can go forward, you can go left, and you can go right. Right now I have the quiet mode enabled. Let's go ahead and do a quick test so that way I can show you how loud quiet is. So go ahead and just spin the vacuum. So this is standard mode. And this is medium. And last but not least, we have strong. So this is the highest setting and the loudest mode. So the V3 Max features a LiDAR navigation system. This means it should be able to avoid objects on the ground as well as detect ledges so that way it doesn't drive off or go off of a staircase or anything like that. One of the tests that I like to do with these robotic vacuums is this table test. It really determines on how well it can detect edges on surfaces. So we'll see if this vacuum can detect the edge of this table and not drive itself off. Okay, just picked up on that edge. And I would say the LiDAR navigation is working pretty good. It's going right up to the edge and then backing away and not driving itself off the table. I would say that is a win. So if you have this vacuum on like a second or third floor, you don't have to worry about the vacuum driving down the stairs or taking itself down the stairs. It's going to be just fine. That is good. So we're gonna test out the V3 Max. I have some Pokemon cereal because it goes with my vacuum. My vacuum's name is Wiggly Tough, so I figure it fits the vibe. I got the cereal all on the floor because if you guys have kids, you know how it is. Kids can make a mess out of anything. I got a few items on the ground, like a couple flip-flops, a TV remote, a MacBook charger, and then a dog toy. We're gonna see how well the V3 Max can steer around these objects and get all of the cereal. Hopefully it can do it in one pass. Let's find out. So to do this test, I'm going to go under map management. I'm gonna go to area vacuuming. I'm gonna take this square and put it over the area where this mess is, shrink it down a little bit. I can zoom into my map if need be. Come up, I'll shrink it down. That way it only cleans this dirty area. No reason for it to do any more. So we'll do just like that. And I'm gonna run it on the strongest suction power. Let's see what happens. So here we go. As you can see, the vacuum does a pretty good job at going around things, but you have to consider that the LiDAR navigation system is sitting a little bit higher than some of these items, like the TV remote or even this dog bone right here. So it's hard for it to pick it up, but even still, it never actually ran anything over. It just kind of shuffled things out of the way. And as long as it doesn't get tangled up or damage anything, I'm perfectly okay with that. And I think most people will be as well. In terms of its vacuuming capabilities, the first pass did an okay job. It was pretty good, but let's be real. This is a very extreme case. I don't think a lot of people are going to be using the robotic vacuum to vacuum up that much cereal. 
I did have to run a second pass, and on the second pass, it pretty much got everything minus a little bit of dust here and there. And again, the second pass was even better at avoiding these objects. Let me know what you think of the V3 Max when it comes to its navigation system as well as its suction capabilities. Personally, I'm pretty impressed. This is a sub $300 vacuum if you get it on sale. And I think vacuums that are $100 to $200 more than this vacuum do a worse job. So maintenance on the V3 Max is really simple. Just flip open the top part, remove the dust bin. And then right here you have your filter. There's a little button on the left hand side. Just push it in and you can pull out the filter like so. And from here you can empty out the bin. So just get like a trash bag. Just pour all the debris out. To clean the filter, you can actually remove the entire door right here and then pop out the filter like so. And you can clean the filter and the screen right here. And you can use the included brush to get in between the filter areas. And that's pretty much it for the filter and for the bin. The rest of the maintenance is on the bottom. So you would just flip the vacuum over and then squeeze these two prongs together and then you can remove the brush and clean the brush and make sure you clean all the sensors so go through clean the sensors here clean the sensors along the sides and make sure that the lidar sensor up at the top is clean as well the v3 max has really cool mopping capabilities something that i haven't seen on other two-in-one robotic vacuums is the fact that the water reservoir shares the same bin as the dust bin. So on the top, we have the water reservoir, and then we have a piece of plastic that separates that from the dust bin. It's kind of ingenious. I, I really like this. So if you want to take advantage of the mopping set or the skill set on the V3 Max, all you have to do is fill the water reservoir with warm water. No soaps, no detergents, no solvents, nothing like that. And definitely don't use hot water because it could cause the tank to morph or deform over time. Just use some, you know, medium warm water, fill up the tank, place the dustbin and the water reservoir back into the V3 Max, take the mopping pad and just slide it underneath. They made this perfectly to where you don't have to lift up the vacuum to install the pad. It just clips right on. I'm not a huge robotic mop person. I tend to mop manually on my own, but I gotta say the V3 Max is really capable as a mop. For a two-in-one mop and vacuum combo, this can hang with the best robotic mops, at least in my experience. The Y pattern makes a huge difference. Here's it in action. And then take a look at the mop pad right here, how much dirt it was able to get off the ground just doing a few passes. I think that's kind of crazy. So there you go. That was a quick look at the Viomi V3 Max. If you want me to do a more thorough review, maybe like a two or three months later experience, let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely add it to the list of videos that I need to get to. I really think this vacuum is great, especially at its price point. Right now you can pick it up for like 115 bucks off on Amazon. And I'll leave that link in the description of this video. So normally it's around 400 bucks, but right now it's around 280, 285, which is a steal for what you're getting with this vacuum. Especially if you're looking to get your foot in the door with your first robotic vacuum, or you're trying to upgrade your old robotic vacuum that doesn't feature LiDAR and just bumps into everything. I'm also gonna be giving one of these away. So if you wanna win a V3 Max, all you have to do is leave a comment down below, subscribe to this channel, and like this video. The comment can be anything you want. It could be have a good day, it could be nice video, whatever you want, just keep it PG, keep it nice, drop me a comment, and that will be your entry. One entry per account though. So don't do multiple entries, otherwise your entry will not count. I'm gonna pick a winner in two weeks and I'm gonna reach out directly. Good luck, hopefully you can enjoy the V3 Max as much as I have. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.